Guys, Plant Gay for Life is a literal hot mess right now. So welcome back to the mess, everyone, as usual. But I need to show you this with me and the friend, just to, just to prove to you guys that I was actually here. And I didn't throw in like some Photoshop or, or something. Look at that, Anthurium wendlingeri. Right there and right there. Those are the flowers or the inflorescences. Nobody knows for sure why it coils like that. It's still a mystery. There are some theories floating around, but no one knows for sure. Now what I wanna do, guys, I wanna measure the light. Because we grow on theorems at home, and there's always a debate on how much light they should get, so I got it set to foot candles here. Right now it's reading 1,065, 1,050, a little over 1,000 foot candles, which is very, very bright for a household. Now if we come down in here where some of those leaves are, it drops to just, just over, yeah, 360 foot candles, which is like medium to low-ish light. That's like a household, guys and we got leaves growing in this light. Now, if we put it up to this leaf here, because that's how, where it's uh, directed. So like up here, it's showing 1100 foot candles. That's a lot of light, but the leaf ain't pointing up, guys. It's pointing vertical, vertical, guys. And right there, it's getting just about 300-ish foot candles. That's household conditions, guys, okay? That is what makes anthuriums such great house plants. And by the way, guys, you come over here, let me show you how rad these things are. We got another one growing like in this in this tree trunk's ass hole. Look at these, look at these leaves. They're, I had to pull these leaves out, guys, because they were just stuck in there, but they were growing. Look at all these leaves. Now let's look, let's see what's getting in there. Nine more candles. <laughs> guys, there's no light in there. Oh wait, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had to... <laughs> it's, it's reading Jake just Jake and Zira exposed. <laughs> it's reading just under 200 foot candles, guys. <laughs> wait, candles. tilt it up, I can't see it. 180, 150 foot candles. Guys, it's getting lower. The light's getting lower. And yet right down here, yeah, not even 200, 150, 170 foot candles. That's not a lot of light, guys. And look how big these are getting. This leaf here is probably, what would you say, like almost two feet? Probably like a foot and a half. Yeah, almost two at feet. Least. Almost two feet. So your plants, your anthuriums, and your philodendrons as well, because we're seeing a lot of big ass philodendrons around here. But all those plants, yes, the philodendrons are growing higher up because they're trying to get more light. But like if you just pan to that philodendron there, that's halfway up, not even halfway up the tree. Look how big those leaves are. It's still in the deep shade, guys. It's just barely starting to break through the canopy of that smaller tree to the left of it. And look how big the leaves it's are. It's those leaves, right? Yes. I'm pointing at the yes. right. I'm learning, Jake. I'm learning, yes. okay? Yes. You, Kulina, you are the most fabulous legend king I've ever known. He's being so nice, even though I bitched to him for a half hour. <laughs> oh, and just real quick, guys, you can tell this is a fern because of the, uh, the spores right there. See those little dot trigger warning, trypophobia, and here are the ants, guys. Symbiotic relationship with the ants. Fuzzy patio, do you see that? What do you think of that, Carlina? Isn't that Fuzzy. weird? Fuzzy. Fuzzy. And you can and you can touch these. Oh, you're these. touching it. These are not like um, they're not thorns or anything. And this is reading, guys. It's growing out of a freaking abandoned shit house. <laughs> it's getting not even a hundred foot candles. <laughs> and guys, I wanted to show you where. Oh, here's one down here. Let's see what this is getting. This is getting, guys, this is getting 100 foot candles. That is such low light, guys. And my shadow's not on it. I'm making sure my shadow, that's about 130 foot candles, 140 foot candles. That's really low light, guys. Look at these big ass leaves, 100 foot candles. Ooh, pretty bug. Come here, buddy, I wanna, oh my goodness. I saw some really cool bugs Look at down you, here. you're so cute. Sorry, anyway. No, that's a, cool, that's a cool one. And guys, look, I just saw this on the ground. No, I did not even pull it out of the ground. It was just on the ground. And it's literally coming back to life. Guys, this was a stick. It just probably, I don't know, something hit it, fell on the ground, and it was just growing. Not even rooted or nothing. Look at that. So I found it like right here, so we'll just put yeah, it back. Yeah, just totally push the bug out of the way, poor thing. Yeah, you know what? Don't! <laughs> did you make that leaf all moist? Is that you? Yeah, that was you. <laughs> You're watering Guys, the plants. I am the rainforest. I am watering. 
Guys, we're in a drought right now. We're in a drought. I have to moisten the plants. Right. Guys, even Plant Gay for Life has to water the plants in the rainforest, okay? I'm saving the rainforest one leaf at a time, motherfucker. And guys, they say only 3% of sunlight reaches the forest floor, and you can see that right here. That says a little over 200 foot candles, and it kind of fluctuates between 200 and 500, depending on where you are, but that's household light, guys. That's medium light in your household. So that's why most of the garden center plants that we see uh, that are popular house plants, they are, for the most part, they are tropical understory plants. They are tropical understory rainforest plants. So that is why we have them in our households because they can adapt to that environment. Yes, they do need a lot of moisture a lot of the time, some of them, because it's very, very wet out here. But you know what? We're in a dry season, guys. We're in a dry season and we're in a drought. And these plants are still kicking it. Okay. There you go. All right, guys. For those of you flower lovers, orchid lovers, we have an orchid right up here. I'm not an orchid expert. I just do recognize the foliage part of the plant right there. Now it's higher up in, in the tree, but, it, and there's two of them there. They're not that high up, guys. There are a few more up there as I, as I uh, pan up the, the, uh, the, tr the tree here. But let's just turn this on and let me just hold this as high as I can up to the sky. Let's just see what these flowers are getting. So let's change it to foot candles. Technical difficulties. What the fuck? You motherfucker. Okay, I'm gonna look back at the leaves. Look, they're leaves, oh, here we go. Wait. pretty leaves for the thing. Pretty. So if I hold this up, in the sky, it was reading like a thousand foot candles. So orchids tend to need over a thousand foot candles, but if you want them to flower, and we're not here, I mean, but you know what? You can tell they flower, guys. Look, there's dried up stems. You see the dried up stems? We know that they're getting enough light. They're flowering, guys. They're just not flowering right now. So they're, they're getting enough light. So they're probably getting at least a thousand foot candles all day. 9 a.m. to, I don't know, 4 or 5 p.m. is like the, the majority of the sunlight here. So, oh my god. I need to stop looking around because I keep seeing more amazing shit, guys. Look at this cool guy down here. It's kind of like a, like a satiny leaf. Nice iridescence there, you see that? Isn't that cute? That leaf down there, that bumpy leaf. Yes. Yeah, zoom in on that. That's growing here. We got a lot of fern, epiphytic ferns here, guys. What the hell is this thing? Guys, look at this. This is, I don't even know what this is, but it's got a stuck. It's got a freaking stuck right there. Ugh. And look at this giant leaf growing in the dark here. You're like Jake, calm down. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, you scared me. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what are you touching? Oh, he fell. It was a um, exoskeleton. Oh, okay. Jesus, dude. You ready to go, Carlina? Just show them your face right now. No, it's okay. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. She's just looking at me like... Carlina, what if I told you I want to stay here? Um. You okay. drop the camera and leave? No, I wouldn't drop it. It's You'd expensive. place it down and then leave. Yeah. Okay. At least I would go eat my sandwich in the car because I'm hungry. Okay, yeah. And we have to also use a potty that's not that one. I mean... I peed in the woods. <laughs> Should we just go in that bathroom? Uh, mm, we have leaves everywhere. I'm, mm. <laughs> Guys, what do you think our ancestors used? Water. And leaves. Anyway, I want to stay here, guys. I don't want to leave. But we have to leave. But do we have to? Do we really? I mean, it's only like, it's not that late, guys. We can stay here. I think something just bit me. We should get out of here. 